Hey everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Jack and Dexter HP Collection Let's Play. In the last episode, we finished off the Lost Precursor City and now we're headed into Boggy Swamp. And uh, this is actually my third least favorite area in this game, guys, because the main fact is it's just a really dark place and uh, it's the same thing as the Lost Precursor City, a lot of obstacles and stuff. So uh, there are two ways you can enter this place. You can enter through this vine path over here or you can enter towards that little... Uh, I don't know what it's called, some obstacle thingy, but we're gonna go back over there because that's the path I usually take. For no reason, actually, I just take it anyway, but uh, maybe it's because this is where you get introduced to Yellow Eco guys and uh, go Super Saiyan! Ha! Yeah! I should play a Vegeta theme whenever I power up with this, but uh, this is where you wanna go if you're like me. If you're not, then you go the other way. It doesn't really matter, they both end up in the same path, so uh, grab some of the Yellow Eco here, and what you wanna do is. Aw, oh, crap. God damn it! Let's head back up here. Uh, there are some metal boxes that can only be destroyed with yellow eco, so you're gonna want to blow them up. And uh, here we go. Ah! Okay. Now uh, let's go over here and oh, I think we gotta do a dodge roll, do a barrel roll. And uh, oh crap! Damn it! Uh, why did I run out of eco? Uh, we need yellow eco to open this box over here, but there's a vent underneath this rat uh, nest, so we're gonna get some more yellow eco from over there. Onward to victory! Yes! No! No! Alright, let's try this now. Okay. You can originally power up with more yellow eco, and you can still get the box, so just do that like I did. Uh, let's head back over here. And uh, what you want to do is, you see this rock or this thing on this pillar over here? You're going to want to destroy a yellow eco, so let's head over to this vent and uh, get rid of it. Now, uh, you guys saw the, the lurker balloon in my last video. We're going to be seeing what it was trying to do this entire time. And then, ooh, the blast continued. Cool. Okay, so uh, right here is a little bit of a tricky maneuver course thingy. Uh, you're going to want to jump on each one and it's going to raise the next one. But let's destroy this thing first. And uh, I just want to talk about something, guys. So uh, in my last video, a lot of you guys said that you guys wanted to pick Kingdom Hearts or Ratchet and Clank, and like it was pretty much 50-50. A lot of you guys like both of the games, and I'm really cool with that. I mean, I like both games, but I would prefer personally Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I love Ratchet and Clank, but it's just I've played it too much. I don't think I had enough time with Kingdom Hearts, and I just don't feel like playing my PS2 to play it. And I want to play it in HD. But uh, and another thing. I'm sorry for not uploading these videos as often as I can, guys. I mean, when I have a week off right now, because uh, it's President's Week over here, and uh, I can't really upload anything due to the fact that, one, it takes nearly 1,000 minutes to upload these videos. That's how long it tells me. 1,000 minutes. And if you do the math, I don't really know how long that is. It's only like 15 hours or something, but I live in a a house with like family of five people and they all use the internet to play video games and I get yelled at whenever they can't play video games so I'm sorry guys but uh, I'm gonna head over here and I I think that uh, we're almost in the middle of the swamp here oh damn but you can't fall into that ooze as you can see you'll, you'll get hurt from that and here we go uh, we need more yellow e oh, over there yes more Super Saiyan powers. And I just gotta say that Naughty Dog definitely had some sort of influence from uh, Dragon Ball Z on this game. I mean, really? Yellow Eco, Kai Blasts, everything in this game? Really? But I was watching another um, behind the scenes video of this game, like the making of the collection and um, the making of Jack and Daxter, and I realized something, guys. The uh, people that made this collection, Mass Media, not Naughty Dog, uh, had a really big job on their hands. According to Naughty Dog, this game right here used types of the like parts of the PS2 that were never meant to be made to be used. Like just the same thing they did with Uncharted and the PS3. They used things that they weren't supposed to use. But right here's Boggy Bill. Let's talk to him. Howdy, friends. Enjoy my beautiful swamp. I own these here parts. Everything that doesn't sink into the mud, that is. <laughs> Judging by the smell, I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago. What's a bathtub? Anyway, I got bigger problems now. Seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about, snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on, and scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack. 
those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farty will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. And keep them from eating at least one of them snacks. Okay guys, now what you want to do is shoot each one of these rats while you're on top of a yellow eco spawn. So uh, you have unlimited blast, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I think I'm going to fast forward this because this is pretty easy. Just protect the mushroom cupcakes or whatever this thing is. It's pretty crazy, but um, make sure they don't get too close. And some of them are out of your peripheral vision. So make sure you get those guys too. And uh, I think we should be done. Let's see. All right, I think we should be done right about now. Let's talk back to Bobby Beer. Well, fry my hide! You sure know how to shoot! Thanks a heap for the help! I reckon that we just helped this darn rhubarb. Oh my god, the redneck in the middle of the swamp. How hypocritical is that? But, uh, let's head over here now. And, uh... Yeah, like I was saying, the HD collection was actually a really hard task because the amount of code in this game was like far beyond any game of its time and still is. I mean, the amount of power they put into the PS2 was all in this game right here. And I guess in the sequels too, but the animations, everything they had for Jack, like wh whether he's swimming or walking in the snow or something, he has an animation for, which is crazy. A lot of games don't have that in OW. Um, but over here, you're going to find the Flood Flood, and the Flood Flood. This is the first time you're going to encounter him in the game, and if you do not save him in Sentinel Beach like I told you guys to, you're not going to see him here, so make sure you get on that. Um, I don't think there's anything over here, but Flut Flut, it's good for various reasons because, uh, let's just get rid of these rats. I really hate these rats. It's good for a lot of reasons because um, it won't get hurt by the, the swamp ooze, it won't, it has a longer distance of flying, and um, it's just really cool overall, but uh, let's get this. All right, now we're good. Now, um, I was also watching another documentary or whatever you want to call it, like a behind the scenes, and Naughty Dog and Insomniac Games, the people who made Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, Ratchet and Clank, and Jack and Daxter, they used to be like brothers, like two companies that used to work right next to each other, like sharing each other's codes and stuff and stuff like that. But uh, when the PS3 came along, Insomniac was kind of left out of all the action. They were really let's say Sony's favorite. Naughty Dog was pretty much chosen over them with Uncharted boosting the PlayStation's uh, success. And uh, what, what that resulted in was Insomniac left them. Now, Insomniac now makes games for the Xbox and the PS3, but they haven't released any games yet, but they're working on something. And um, that's exactly why Insomniac left. And Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter, the two of them actually ran on the similar engines. Look at this scout fly right here. Ah, oh, crap! Get damn it! All right, yeah, so the two of them shared engines. That means that it was almost the same game, but different ideas put into it. That's really cool, but that's the thing. They kind of split apart. They weren't really close later on. And uh, if, did you guys know, this is a random fact, but every seven years, people make a new set of friends. Every seven years. Like, if you have an old set of friends, you'll pretty much abandon them, and then you make a new set every seven years. You might have a one or two best friends that you stay with forever, well, not forever, but for a very long time, but it's seven years. And I learned that from Uberfax at, on Twitter. You guys should just follow that because I get a bunch of random facts and they're pretty cool, but um, let's get over here. And yeah, you can fly for a really long time, so let's get that. And try not to charge the boxes like I did. You can't get off the flat flat unless you get on this thing, but <laughs> it's really annoying whenever you fall off. And uh, it's over here. Okay, now, oh, damn it, dark eagle boxes. Let's get up here. Yeah, super jump. Okay, now another tether is over here. Let's blast this piece. And you want to destroy the nest because that contains blue eco, and without that, you're not gonna be able to use the launcher. But uh, there we go. Another tether destroyed. Wow. Okay, another power cell. These are easy power cell guys. And uh, let's see. 60 power cells. Damn, we're more than halfway through this game. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna jump back over here, and uh, I think we need yellow eco to destroy this this barrier over here. Let's uh, see. 
up. Yes, we do. Damn it. Gotta go all the way back. Alright, let's head back there now. Okay, so, uh, let's try doing dodge rolls all the way over there. Dodge rolling is usually faster, and that, that should work. Let's check. Um, here we go. Alright, now, let's head over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to mess up. Faster, faster. I wish there was like, uh, damn, I don't want to spoil anything, but I wish there was some more types of eco in this game. Ones that could like power you up with every type of eco at once and it would be hidden throughout the place. But uh, there we go, we destroyed it. And there was an eco vent right outside the cave. Why? Okay, so over here is an ambush and uh, you're gonna have to kill every enemy for a power cell. So um, try not to grab the yellow eco because it limits you from punching them and it's a lot slower. Here we go. Pop, pop. Yeah. You see that? It, it kind of limited me and oh no, 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 I don't want this. I can't. See that guys? Oh my goodness. All right, so they spawned me back at the beginning of the swamp and what happened was I feel like going down the viney path that I skipped at the beginning. So let's head down this path. It's both gonna lead us to the same place like I said before, but I just don't feel like going all the way back around the swamp. This is just a shortcut since I already got so far. And uh, I'm just destroying these guys because they get kind of annoying. Yeah. All right, so let's head over here. Okay, now let's make sure we don't miss these because this is pretty easy to miss. Look at this. The range on this blue eco isn't really that good. And here we go. But uh, I want Kingdom Hearts Birthless Sleep right now, guys. I don't know why. I want to play it on PS3 so badly. And I wish I had a multiplayer. That's another thing. Will they be able to put multiplayer in that game? Maybe that's when they're making a collection or something. Uh, multiplayer really messed up a lot of these games. Even though it was fun back in the day on the PS2, it really messed up uh, the remakes. And uh, here we go over here. Yep, nice. Yeah, as you can see, it's a really bad weather over here. And there was something I noticed when I was watching an Uncharted 3 video the other day. Actually, guys, I replayed Uncharted 3 and I gave it a second chance. And I really liked it. I really liked the game. Um, I still have a few problems with some of the storylines, but it was still an amazing game. I really liked it. And uh, yeah, I noticed that Uncharted 1, it was mainly jungle. And just like this game, it's mainly jungle. Even though it has every type of environment in this game, it's more of a jungle-ish area. And rural, rural, I can't even say it. Um, but Uncharted 2 had snowy city areas. So did uh, Jack 2. And then Jack 3, it was the desert. Just like Uncharted 3. That was crazy. I just I just realized that the other day. But uh, there you go, another power cell. Really easy. And, uh, oh my goodness. How did I miss this? Ah, no, don't die, don't die! Yeah. And, uh, let's see, let's head over here. This game definitely is bringing back a lot of memories. I remember back in the day when I used to play this game, I got it on a Christmas morning? No, 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 I got it Christmas Eve, and I played it until the next Christmas day. I went with my parents to buy it, and, um, I beat it by the next morning. All night I played it to like 11 o'clock in the night that was my bedtime and i beat it and it was so amazing but uh back then i used to wake up at like saturday mornings and watch cartoons like uh Yu -Gi oh pokemon jack and dexter like nowadays i complain about waking up early but back then i used to wake up at like seven o'clock in the morning just to watch those cartoons uh, i miss jackie chan adventures i was watching that the other day and i realized how funny some of these cartoons were but they had like things you never see on tv anymore like guns and stuff um Let's head over here. Headed backwards. Where am I headed? But yeah, guys, what do you what did you guys used to do? I used to do that all the time. And that's a lot of memory. Oh man, I punched into the thing again. And uh, let's head over here. Okay, let's make sure we don't miss any here. Let's see. Oh man! Precursor orb. No, no, no. Ah! Oh. I had to walk all the way back here. I think there was a checkpoint closer, but. Let's get on this one. Nah. Nah, I didn't miss anything. There we go. And uh, here we go. Oh, wow. I'm terrible at this. I know I make this look harder than it actually is, but for me, it is really hard. I really hate obstacles like this because the controls are a bit freaky for me. But let's head over here. And 
There you go, another tether. Now, you're gonna notice it's pulling that, a precursor arm, and the lurkers are here. And they were in the beginning of the game, I missed the island. They said they were hunting precursor objects and power cells. What do they need this stuff for, guys? How do you guys know? But, uh,. I don't really want to spoil it for you guys, but they're hunt hunting a lot of these precursor objects for some reason, and lurkers are all out over this. We saved the Green Sage's village pretty much, but let's let's get this from attack, and um, it didn't get affected. But these other villages, damn, they got messed up. Uh, let's head back to the ambush in a second, but let's get these boxes open. Here we go. And uh, yeah, here we go. Yes, nice. No more boxes. I, I think we're missing one precursor orb. Oh no. I think we missed one precursor orb. I have to go all the way around the freaking swamp to find one more precursor orb. Let's head back to the ambush. Let's just check. I'm pretty sure I'm missing one more. Where did I miss it? Alright, so make sure you don't grab the yellow eco and make sure you kick everybody's ass before they get to you um try to go in here with full health as well because if you die you end up at the start of the swamp now here we go all right do some jackie chan bruce lee moves on these guys no guns all fists here we go bam, bam. i can't believe i had sound effects to this but uh, here we go stupid rat um, it's funny when you get hit, all these monsters just stare at you. They're waiting for you to die, but there you go. It's really easy if you don't grab the other gun. Oh man, why is this why is this happening? Okay, free power, so there we go guys. And uh Okay, I think we gotta go find that precursor. Let's go. Uh yeah! Okay, uh I forgot a power cell as well over here. It was the one from the tether. Why am I being so sloppy? But let's get that precursor orb now. Okay, guys, I found it. It was right back at the start of the area in the water. So I'm going to kill myself so I can spawn back at the start of the game. So um, let's head back over here. And uh, I think we completed it. All right, so next time on the Jack and Dexter HD Collection, let's play. Oh, no, 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 we're not going in the water. Lur Lurker Shark! We're headed to fight Claw. I'll be seeing you guys then. But if you guys just leave a like and favorite, that would be really nice. But, uh... Peace. Great! You have the cells for the machine! They ought to provide enough power to lift that boulder! There we go! Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top! Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira! Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me! Oh, really heroic of you! 